This time, Islamic Secrets will tell the story of a British citizen who died 24 hours after saying the Shahada. This figure is named Anthony. He works in a supermarket near the Birmingham Mosque in England. He is known to live there alone because Anthony doesn't have any close family there. Meanwhile, many of the customers at the supermarket where he works are Muslim. Anthony became close and felt that the Muslims were his family. Anthony was diagnosed with stage 4 stomach cancer and had been hospitalized several times. Knowing that his life journey was not far away, he expressed his last wish. He wanted when he died, his funeral to be held at the Birmingham Mosque in England, not at the house of worship of his faith, which at that time he was a Christian. Responding to this, a Muslim friend said that Anthony's wish could not be fulfilled if he did not say the two sentences of the Shahada and convert to Islam. Then Anthony then asked that he be led to recite the Shahada. With gasping breaths and assisted by medical equipment, Anthony was led to say two sentences of the Shahada. I testify that there is no God but Allah, and I testify that the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, said Anthony on Thursday. After reciting the two sentences of the Shahada and converting to Islam, he died the next day or Friday. Anthony breathed his last breath at the age of 60. Anthony's wish to have his body taken care of at the mosque was finally granted and was attended by dozens of Muslims in Green Lane. Muslim residents in Green Lane showed their brotherhood towards Anthony. They took care of his body from the bathing to the burial in the mosque grounds. Islam teaches universal brotherhood between all human beings. Non-Muslims who convert to Islam often feel a strong sense of brotherhood with other Muslims. The concept of one people, despite their diverse backgrounds, creates an inclusive and supportive social environment. Choosing Islam as the religion of choice is not only a change of belief, but also a journey towards spiritual well-being and a more meaningful life. These advantages create a solid foundation for non-Muslims who choose Islam, enriching their lives and helping them reach their full potential as human beings.